Yes, sir. It's your boy B. Hayes. We're back with another one, guys. So what's going on with the market, guys? So as I told you guys on yesterday, this week was destined to have at least one day where we ran up like we did on yesterday just to come right back down. That's the Fed's giving that leverage, having that leverage over the overall market because once they did what they did on Friday and did what they did on Monday, they couldn't let the market continue to just tank down because they would have ran out of steam and power in order to control it so that's why yesterday the market went up a artificial spike up just to have leverage to bring it back down on today so it can be like oh you know feel like the feds is in control they are but they lose their power of control the lower the stock market goes guys so hope that makes sense for you so anyways the stocks fall after power re-irritates feds will continue to raise rates to fight inflation so we know inflation is steady being out of control they doing a hot and cold method as well meaning one moment they'll come out and say things is crazy you know everybody's scared the economy starts to crash the stock market starts to crash then they'll come out okay it's cooling down it's cooling off things is you know inflation is cooled down more than it did before back in august i believe it had came down cpi inflation data reported that we had cooled down a bit then it picked right back up the heat the heat started picking right back up. So once they able to, you know, do that hot and cold method like that, they able to still have that power and that control over the overall market, guys. So let's go ahead and take a further look at exactly what's going on. The Dow dropped 128 points or 0.3%. The S&P 500 dropped 0.5%. And the NASDAQ dropped 0.7%. So I know a lot of people is wondering, so what's going to happen with the overall outcome? now that we're in the position that we're in so like i told you guys i do believe on today you know they had the leverage to pull it back being for the fact they let it run up yesterday and i already knew they was gonna come out with some type of you know drastic news saying how bad inflation is which it is bad but like i told you guys in the previous video this is going to be a slap on the wrist here pretty soon because regardless over time we're gonna have the same problem occurring but people is going to be paying you know minimum wage people is going to be paid 20 30 20 30 dollars an hour in the future with things like gas is going to be ten dollars a gallon but you're getting paid 30 so the same thing going on here with us fighting inflation is not going to be going on too long the employers the employers is going to have to pay their employees more wages a bigger wage guys and the world is going to be right back on balance like it was once before this is just a catastrophic events that's been happening that's trying to scare the poor people that don't have much money that have the opportunity to turn that little bit of money into a lot of money five exit six exit to get them off their feet have their first ten thousand ever because if somebody put two thousand three thousand in the market now in quality companies that's down over 70 80 percent your return is going to be insane and you have the potential to now have ten thousand dollar savings account if you put two to three thousand into something so as you know guys you know things is heating up people is scared they don't know what to do but like i told you guys the market is not going to go down to zero and and that's it the market is going to go up it's going to go down and the thing about it is we've been in this bear market so long even though we had that little bullishness for a month that we called out i told you guys it would be a bullish market within the bearish market then if things don't change with the economy which they haven't yet inflation is still out of control then we're going to go right back down to that bearish market for another short period of time i do believe you know finishing out the rest of this year it ain't no pressure we can go out the rest of this year you know in the bear market if that's the case but i do believe it won't be the whole entire year probably the last month around december maybe even november the market is going to go ahead and start turning over into a bullish market because like i told you guys from the statistics that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to always be like that but from the statistics and off of a major part that get us where we at in the market is looking at the past it prepares us for the future so that being said we know a bear market usually lasts between eight to nine months historically and the bull market lasts way longer and always in effect more than the bear market bull market can last three to four years so you already know guys what to do i know a lot of you is you know saying what's up with amc what's up with some of these other stocks 
stock market is looking ugly this morning, guys. But being for the fact that it went ahead and tanked early this morning, pulled back like that, we could possibly see some get back towards lunchtime going into power hour, a nice cup and handle, guys. Because like I told you guys, the stock market already gave most of those gains back of what it did during that bullishness of a market within the bearish market that, you know, it's, it ain't going to go down too much more further, guys. So now is definitely ideal time to be loading up, buying the stocks that you like, quality companies. And as we see here, I know a lot of people wondering what's going on with AMC. AMC is sitting at $9.29 down over three percent today i told you guys how i felt i've been losing subs by the day i'm not worried about it though because i'm the only one that's gonna keep it real with you guys everybody else gonna just wait until you know you guys eventually decide for yourself or what but they ain't gonna come out and say what i've been saying like i told you guys you guys know the time frame that i'm giving amc we know what was at stake here we know exactly what you know happened here we had it was advantage and disadvantage to both parties, short sellers and loans. But as we know, guys, this definitely was a momentum killer, being for the fact that it's been, you know, consolidating and sitting at these levels and possibly trying to come down even lower than before, guys. So you already know what to do. Add your on Instagram at the Behave Show. Get in VIP. Give me a phone call. Reach out on Instagram. We do 15-minute phone calls and 30-minute phone calls. I love y'all. We out. And God bless you. We go.